Jumoi Segal aka the African Princess. How have you been? Uh, it's been a minute. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been uh, yes i'm back uh, superior superior and a professional video as you can see i'm wearing a suit <laughs> so how have you been how is everyone doing i'm hoping you're all fine and uh, yes before i proceed how do you feel about my hair please rate my hair rate my hair i made it all myself and in case you may want to know how i went ahead and came up with this look you can always let me know in the comment section so that i can make a video about the same so today you're talking about anything professional anything work anything official yes so we are talking about branding yes what is branding so before you proceed and uh, expound or maybe explain what is a brand i will start with a quote from Brian tracy we all know Brian tracy right the other now okay <laughs> yes so brand tracy thinks branding or a brand is a promise when you talk about a promise you're talking about something that you have to deliver to your customer or to your clients or maybe to your employers in case you're a company yes so today you're looking at what is branding in details and also mentioning or expounding on qualities or characteristics of a brand so a brand is not okay in this scenario we can talk about a brand being a company or maybe brand being you as a person mm -hmm. yes so there are seven character qualities that a brand entails and we shall expound on these seven characteristics <laughs> yes i'm back so a brand a brand is an action that an individual personal branding in this case we are talking about personal branding but we shall liken it to a company or maybe branding that entails a company so that you can quickly understand how we can compare our branding our personal branding with such of a company that we shall have some in-depth detail or some in-depth understanding of the same so a brand is a consistent action that an individual takes that allows him or her to manage their self-image to the public mm -hmm. so in this case we can look at a brand as maybe like an athlete maybe an artist or maybe a lawyer all those mm -hmm. so personal branding also is a process of establishing your public persona to your target audience mm -hmm. assuming i'm another i may want my my viewers or my target audience to have these if they hear my name what what comes to their mind once you hear a certain company there's something that comes to your mind automatic yes this reminds me this is crazy okay i want to say crazy this is teacher used to tell us anytime we would see a complicated equation honestly arithmetic quadratic equations so anytime that thing would come up that is back in primary school because quadratic equations and expressions used to be in high school that is in kenya yes the curriculum we have <laughs> we had that is uh anytime that that some would come up that teacher would always point at someone and ask him or her what comes to your mind first then people would always answer in unison board miles we all know board miles right so let's get into this video and uh, outline the detailed qualities that a brand has so that we can liken it to a person personal personal branding remember that's what we are talking about we are looking at how we can brand ourselves to be better or how we want to be perceived so uh, the first quality is specialization specialization so you have to focus you have to to divide or you have to deal to dwell or to maybe to be to go deeper and ask yourself what is this one thing that i want people to know me about if it is a company about fashion what is this one thing that you specialize in is it a selling handbags is that is there a specific designer handbag or if it is a company maybe a financial institution is there a specific type of loan that people know you about is there a specific item leadership yes mm -hmm. so you must be seen as a leader in that industry in that specific industry you have to command some charisma yes you have to command some respect and some charisma when it comes to leadership in that specific industry yes you have to 
so that way you carve your niche in that specific area of specialization number three is personality yes brands have personality even if it is a company we can categorize a company as a grandmother a grandfather a mother a father you've seen some insurance companies in this case i'll use a certain example who i will not mention any names some insurance companies will talk about being being your retirement retirement like who do i see mm, i'm looking for this word being a retirement companion so they are offer, offering you some solace some consolation that you should save with them or maybe you should have a pension account with them so they give you some hope and remember you have to buy this that's how they market it because again people people mostly people decide emotionally and justify it logically so you have to appeal to people's emotions as a brand yes you have to be known as this brand which which does philanthropy so meaning that you are kind you are considerate all that mm -hmm. so point number four visibility yes you must be visible you must you have to yes when you're talking about visibility basically just the way the term means being visible being seen being able to be conspicuous being able to be seen easily easily seen easily conspicuous it means the colors that you use for your branding the, the the font types the size all that if it is a company maybe you're talking about a motto a logo the values the positioning statement the mission the all that so personally as a person you have to think about what will people what do i want people to see when people think about me or when people see me what should they think about me i know this stuff i'm not also perfect on that i'm also working on that honestly <laughs> yes so in this case what comes in handy at least for this era is social media use social media to get yourself out there positively let people see you let people hear and see you yes <laughs> positively obvious mm. so you manage your image pr we shall talk about pr in some other episode so honestly this episode is like is a series so ensure that you don't miss this because next i will be making a video on how to do your branding perfectly on youtube how to do your branding perfectly on instagram and again how to sell your brand on youtube so these are series that you don't miss so you want to stay with me till the end of this series right mm -hmm. so point number five is persistence mm -hmm. so uh you've had time and time again because consistency is like the super glue that everyone needs whether it comes to career it comes to a business you need to be consistent whether you're selling something um i saw some joke somewhere i won't mention which company but honestly i saw a joke someone wrote on facebook and i saw them writing that never feel never feel down coca-cola just sold two bottles in one year during their first you have operation can you imagine such a big company as you speak now sold like three, three someone can correct me i mean <laughs> but honestly that tells us the power in consistency you must be consistent like if you have if you need to have a channel that people can trust again on youtube you need to upload regular like you have to be regular in your uploads specifically you can pick days i know i've not been consistent on this <laughs> So I'm a victim here, <laughs> uh, but I'm planning to be back. That's why I'm back. So you have to be consistent so that people can take you serious. Mm -hmm. Another point is goodwill. What is your intention? Yes, you're selling this type of a shoe, or maybe you're selling us this service, financial service, maybe insurance service, all that. You're selling us some hair styling service. Um. Maybe something else like you're selling goods and services. What is your intention? Do you intend well? Do you do you have some good intentions with the society? Again, it it cannot be something illegal again, because the government will be on your neck. <laughs> so it has to be something positive, and you have to have some 
positive mindset and positive intentions when doing this either when selling a service or when selling a product so you cannot do away without thinking about the goodwill so once you base your branding on such parameters then you can be sure that you'll have a strong brand that you can put let's liken our branding our personal branding to a company maybe this company a company z is known to be let me hear you say <laughs> so we shall not go to details about the company qualities we shall look at ourselves as a brand personal branding so we shall look at let's look at what we need to to think about when we are looking at ourselves as a brand so the first thing that you need to factor in is the product features so in a company setup it may talk about if it is an insurance company let me use this example you may talk about a certain policy that talks about life insurance education policies or maybe life policies all that or maybe something like household and goods policy so those are the product features that that company sells mm -hmm. so another thing is the target audience for that company the target audience is obvious people who are maybe from 20 years or 23 years of age to 70 do insurance companies insure people who are about 70 years some maybe right but not most <laughs> so uh so those are the product features that we've spoken about Versus v, the target audience. So in our case, as a person or personal branding, we shall talk about the product, the features. As Miss Jomo, what features do I have that people see? When people think or see me, what do they think about? What comes to their mind? <laughs> this is something that I'm still working on. <clears throat> so when people think about Miss Jomo as a person, what comes to their mind? Is this something positive? Is this something negative? We all have something to work on. There's always something that you don't like about yourself or that you've heard about. Okay, you've heard your critics talk about it. And maybe at times our critics are our friends. Maybe our critics can be our best motivators, right? Because you can always improve from where they are correcting you. Yes, sometimes it is correction. <laughs> I will teach you on how to know when it is correction and when it is reprimanding or maybe just being rude. Mm -hmm. So let's get to these features as a person that you need to have for you to have a strong brand presence. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will just mention some examples. Then you sit down and uh, ask yourself, do I have all these qualities or who do I have as a person? So we can talk about being energetic. These things that we write on our CVs when you go for interviews, right? Mm -hmm. We can talk about being driven, personal driven. We can also talk about something like uh, you are creative yes i'm creative i don't know <laughs> another thing is i'm confident i'm confident another quality is you can talk about being versatile being creative kind of coincides with another thing we can talk about is being able to talk about something like what about the target audiences the target audience in our case because we are not a comp we are talking about our ourselves as a person or personal branding our target audience will be people who can help us reach our potential employers or maybe reach our potential donors or sponsors who can help us start up something in future yes so in this case those people that help us they are our destiny shapers or maybe destiny shapers or destiny Hmm. Destiny Shapers, Guardian Angels, Guardian Angels and Destiny Shapers. So in this case, we can talk about the media. The media can be a friend. They can make or break you again. Because I saw someone who was invited for a media interview. Then from there, that person blew up. So media can be a friend. Yes, if you use it positively. Yes, you can also market yourself. There are various tools that you can use to market yourself either online or offline. I will be teaching in this series still how to market yourself effectively, the tools that you can employ to market yourself. Uh -huh. Another thing is friends. Yes, don't ever ignore. <laughs> yes, you need others just like they need you. So friends, some friends can help you reach your goals. Yes, some friends can be your guardian angels or destiny shepherds. Uh -huh. Another thing or the last item 
is your tutors or your lecturers. I've had cases where people confess that their lecturer helped them get a job or maybe a promotion or their lecturers helped maybe assisted them to get to meet a friend who assisted them to start a business which is successful again because now you see yes i have some friends i have some lecturers who are my friends <laughs> so you need to keep your lecturers <laughs> so don't go making enemies with your with your lecturers <laughs> okay this is just a joke so honestly we have, we've spoken about personal branding in this uh, scenario i hope you've learned something uh, that's all for today for personal branding cut me up for the next series that will be talking about branding specifically on social media and I'll, I'll be tackling Facebook Instagram and YouTube specifically so I've been your girl until next time peace out bye signing out so signing out I've been your girl aka the African princess Miss Jomo here for you stay up for the next series until next time, love you, bye. Have a brand successful week. Have a brand oriented week. Bye.